Hello everybody, Pounding Rocks checking in here again with a Pathfinder pickup update. I shot a live video last night, but it's 26 minutes of absolutely nothing going on. Uh, so I figured I would do an actual official uh, update video here. Um, timing belt's done on this thing. That was pretty easy. Just pull the crank pulley, take the covers off. I mean, obviously it's a lot easier when you got the engine out and in this condition. So that was like uh, a pretty quick affair. He got my beautiful copper valve covers on now, and you'll notice that it's now off the stand. So uh, we were getting ready to kind of jam these two together and, and make them one, and we ran into a little bit of a problem. Uh, but before I go into the problem, just real quick, we got the uh, we've got a uh, Axetti uh, throwout bearing now, greased, ready to go, pressed on. That was pretty pretty easy to do. Um, so here's the problem that I ran into with this thing. We got the flywheel on, all, all bolted down, blue thread locker and everything, line the clutch up and all that. And the problem lies in the pressure plate. Um, this I did not know, but this is a trial and error. This is why we're, this is why we're doing this. I mean, I'm sure the information is somewhere, but the internet's getting worse and worse to try and find stuff. I mean, you can find political stuff all day long, but I mean, if you're trying to build a vehicle, it, you know, who cares? You can't find anything. So the pressure plate between the naturally aspirated and the supercharged version are different. The bolts don't line up at all with any of the bolts that are actually on the flywheel. If you look here, I've got a, a spare rusty flywheel here and you got these three dowels, one here, one here, and one here. And there's supposed to be these dowel holes here on this thing. They're supposed to sit on that and hold the, the clutch plate on. Well, bolt pattern is completely different. So I'm thinking that we're going to have to get a flywheel, a supercharged flywheel. I don't know why they decided to do it differently. I'm kind of hoping that it's going to be lighter and smaller. I don't know. Um, it might not be. It might just be that because it says supercharged on it that they decided to just go full bore stupid and just make things difficult for us you know swappers out here and everything but uh yeah so this is still probably good it's just that i'm gonna have to do a a flywheel and i'm so sad because this flywheel that is off of a 3.0 v6 a, a, a 90 and since we know that the you know the vg series is pretty much all the same except for you know bore size or you know or liters uh size and everything that my assumption was is that all this would line up and work perfectly. Uh, yeah, I was very wrong. So we're gonna have to come up with a uh, plan B here. I'm gonna do some more research. I see that if you go on Rock Auto and you put in 2003 Xterra uh, and, and supercharged, it brings up just one flywheel option. But if you take away the supercharged option, just go to the NA, there's like 12. And one of the options is the supercharged one. So I'm like confused. Uh, I'm going to have to do some more research. There's got to be something out there that can point me in the right direction here. And the only other thing that I did, and I didn't complete it yet because I want to get hose clamps, is uh, the uh, thermostat bypass hose is uh, something that you probably want to look into before you put this thing back into service because I had that, that white Pathfinder, the, the original engine for this truck blew up because this hose ruptured and just sprayed coolant everywhere. So that's what killed the original 3.0 and, you know, and then the, the owner crashed it. So there was like, you know, otherwise this thing would probably be still be a Pathfinder driving down on the road, but engine blew, body damage, and uh, thus the uh, Pathfinder pickup was was conceived and, and born and is still in the in the growing stages. So yeah, I promise that in, with the next episode, or at some point in the future, these two are going to mate and be one, and then I will get them to shoehorn into the truck, and then I can bolt it down and say, supercharged. Only other thing is, these are the seats that I got from the junkyard a couple weeks ago from that white truck that I got the uh, rear axle out of. Um, they just need a little bit of cleanup, but those are the new seats for this truck. That's about all I've got. Um, I really don't have anything else for you. Um, so, yeah, if anybody has any comments, questions, or concerns, just uh, 
leave them down below. And there's a bunch of pictures from uh, from last night up on the uh, Instagram page, which is Rainmaker underscore D21. So uh, I'm just hoping that, you know, at some point we can, you know, just get past things. It just seems like, you know, you move forward and then you plateau and then you move forward and then you plateau. Because remember when I, how many episodes I had of building the flatbed for this thing. And even that's not completely done. I still got to throw, you know, I got to actually build the wood for it. But, you know, there was like 12 episodes of, oh, I'm, I'm working on this, I'm working on this, I'm working on this. And I just, you know, you get a little bit uninspired after a while because you're like, oh, 12 episodes of looking at an engine sitting on a tire. So I'm, I'm still pressing forward. I'm hoping to do what I can. Um, so I'm hoping this flywheel solution will be found soon. If I got to order the flywheel, so be it. Um, so cool. Let me know down below what you think, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Pounding Rocks, signing off.